We now continue with the life cycle of animals part 2. I am sure you all enjoyed and understood part 1 very well. So here we go. What did we learn earlier? A hen sits on a rex to hatch them. The fully grown chick breaks the eggshell and comes out. The young ones of some animals look like their parent. We learnt a new term, hatch. When a hen sits on a rex to warm them, she is said to be hatching her eggs. To produce another living thing of the same kind is called reproduction. So animals reproduce either by laying eggs or by giving birth to young ones. There are similarities between a goat and its kid between a hen and her chick. However, a caterpillar and a butterfly are very different. You can see on the screen the horse, foal, deer, fawn, chicken, chick, cow, cow. The young ones look a lot like their parent. Whereas below, the caterpillar and the butterfly, tadpole, adult frog, wriggler, adult mosquito, you see there is a lot of difference. Thus, in some animals, the young one grows into an adult animal that looks very different from the young one. So the young one looks very different from the uh, adult parent. Okay. So this change of form is called metamorphosis. Now butterflies of various shapes and beautiful colors are a part of our environment. They live their life among plants. You can see the beautiful colors and the patterns on the butterflies. As butterflies grow, they pass through four stages. These are the egg. You can see the pearl-like egg of the butterfly. The larva, the pupa and adult butterfly. The female plain tiger butterfly lays an egg on the milkweed or the ruy leaf. In six to eight days, the lava emerges from the egg. Emerges means to come out. The lava of a butterfly is called a caterpillar. When the caterpillar comes out of the egg, it is very hungry. It begins to nibble on the eat the very leaf or which it emerges from the egg. It eats very fast. So, it begins to grow rapidly. You can see on your screen, the caterpillar busy eating away the leaf. The caterpillar of the plain tiger butterfly grows so rapidly. Rapidly means so fast. In the first two or three days, that it does not fit in its skin anymore. But under the old skin, a new loose skin is formed on the growing caterpillar. Then the caterpillar sheds the old skin, that is, it molds. We learn a new term here, molds. To shed the old skin, to make way for new growth. So when the caterpillar gets fat after eating so much, the old skin gets tighter. So what does it do? It sheds it off. It removes it and it grows a new skin. Right? So this shedding of or removal of the old skin is called as molting. Again, it begins to gobble up the leaf and continues to grow rapidly. In two or three days, it molds a second time. In this way, it molds four times. It remains in the caterpillar stage for 10 to 12 days. Now, just before the last mold, the caterpillar weaves a button of a silk thread on a stalk or a leaf. Now, you can see on the picture, you can see it makes a small button, either on the stalk of a tree or on the leaf, okay, where it can stick itself. And it hangs itself from it. When it molds this time, it forms a pupa, which is the next stage of the growth. So now it hold, weaves out a silk thread around itself. 
okay and it stays inside that so you can see in the first picture it has started to grow the last skin in the second picture it has grown the last skin completely and it is inside the pupa of a butterfly is called a chrysalis once it forms a chrysalis it remains in the chrysalis for at least 12 days it does not eat anything during this stage but inside the chrysalis important changes take place in its body the growth of the plain tiger butterfly gets completed inside the chrysalis then the adult butterfly emerges from the chrysalis and it now has four attractive wings and six long legs all butterflies grow through these stages of growth do you know children for each type of butterfly the type of plants on whose leaves it lays its eggs is fixed okay so we have the mulberry plant here on your left i'm sure you have eaten this tasty fruit and on the right you can see the silk moth you can see the cocoon and the larva you know a silk moth always lays its eggs on the mulberry tree not on any other plant and the silk cloth that we get is got from the cocoon of the silk worm the time the larva takes to emerge from the eggs is different for different types of butterflies now there are a variety of caterpillars okay a lot of different colors different types some bodies are longer some are fatter some are thin some are hairy you can see the picture here butterflies and moths pollinate flowers and help to maintain a healthy environment children many times when we open a box of grains you see some insects fly out i'm sure you would have noticed it in your house you can see on your picture here on the right there are some worms inside and you can see one of the insects out how does this happen now you we all take care we clean the grains and we put it in the box then from where does it come you know children we may not see the insect but the insect has laid eggs so those eggs are in the grain and they are so tiny that you cannot even see them so when we put it in the dabba or in the box and seal it up it gets warm then it gets air soon that egg grows into a caterpillar right or grows into a larva and from that larva comes out the insect and so when you open the box there it goes flying out just revising metamorphosis again in some animals like insects and frogs the young one grows into an adult animal that looks very different from the young one this change in form is called metamorphosis please remember children what is metamorphosis this is the answer that you have to give now on your screen we are going to see the metamorphosis of a house fly you all have seen this fruit fly like along with the time line an adult fly lays some eggs okay in about 8 to 24 hours the eggs come out the larva comes out and then it forms a pupa and soon it becomes an adult fly now we see the life cycle of a frog very interesting the frog lays an egg mass in two weeks it grows into a tadpole and has a long tail it almost looks like a baby fish here after 7 to 8 weeks this frog starts growing legs if you can see carefully on your screen the frog has grown eggs but these legs children are the hind legs or the back legs of a frog soon in 12 weeks the frog grows now another pair of legs but this time it grows its front legs or four legs and you can see the frog has still got its tail okay at this stage it is called a froglet soon the tail disappears and now it becomes 
an adult frog. We have a little friend, Swara, who will explain to you a project on the life cycle of a frog. I, Swara, will now explain the life cycle of a frog through my project. First, an adult frog lays the eggs, hatch and in two weeks, the tadpole grow a long tail. Around seven to eight weeks, the tadpole first grows its hind leg, hind meaning back legs. In 12 weeks, the tail shortens and the frog grows its fore or front leg. The young frog with a tail is called a froglet. Soon the tail disappears and the froglet grows into an adult frog. Thank you, Swara. That was a wonderful project. I am sure our friends will also like to do the project on the life cycle of a frog. You may also do the life cycle of a butterfly or any other insect that you choose. What we have learned? A hen sits on her eggs to hatch them. The fully grown chick breaks the eggshell and comes out. Egg, caterpillar or the larva stage, chrysalis or the pupa and adult are the four stages of the life cycle of a butterfly. The plain tiger butterfly lays its eggs on the leaves of the milkweed plant. The larva emerges from the egg. It is called the caterpillar. When the growth of the caterpillar is complete, it enters the pupa stage during which it lives inside the chrysalis. The adult butterfly emerges from the chrysalis. It has six long legs and four attractive wings. So thus we see the life cycle of a butterfly starting from the egg to the adult. Children always remember butterflies are a part of our environment. It is wrong to catch butterflies just for fun and to keep them tied with a string. Solve the exercise very neatly in your notebook. I am sure you will all be interested in doing the project too. Thank you children. Stay safe.